Yes, I get it. Now we have Keshe calculator. So we take out our Keshe calculator. And then on our Keshe calculator, we're going to go to mode. And then if you press mode, we're going to look for something which is called a table, depending on the calculator that you're using. Go to your calculator, check for table. Uh, my calculator says seven, I'm going to press seven. If your calculator says three, you press three again. And then you're going to type this thing exactly the way it is. So you're going to type this thing exactly the way it is. So if you type that, you're going to have two alpha x, and then it's to the power of three. Plus five alpha x. This one is squared. Minus four alpha x minus three equals two. And then if you did this exactly the way I was requesting you to do it, your calculator should say g of x. Okay? Or it shouldn't say anything. It, if it doesn't have g of x is five. You skip when, and then you go to, if it doesn't say g of x, it's going to say start. Your calculator is going to ask you where do you want to start. Now you want to input as many values as you can. I'll say to learners, to avoid memory uh, memory, uh, memory error. So let's start with minus five. So we start with minus five. And then our calculator is going to ask us, where do you want to add? So calculator talking to you. You see, you see that question mark? It says start, question mark. It's asking you, where do you want to start? Politely so. And then it's asking you, where do you want to add? And then when you say, okay, I want to end at five. And then you say equals two. It says, what should be your step? You want us to go from one value to another. You want us to go from one to 0 0.5, or you want us to go from zero uh, to one, and then from one to two. When I say, okay, let's leave your step to be one. I think the simplest one is one, because it's by default, it's already one. And then you say equals two. And then from there on, you're going to play this thing here, this arrow here. You go to the f of x side. Now, when you go to f of x, you're going to scroll down using an arrow there. If you scroll down, you are going to look whereby you meet zero. You meet zero. Now, when y is zero, f of x is zero, what is going to be your x? That's what you check. When y is zero, what is, what is, our, uh, what is our x? So you come and write, okay, the first value that I have, it's x is equal to minus three. Check your calculator, check your calculator, but uh, you check the idea you have zero. You check what is the corresponding value with zero here. What is the value that is next to zero? Now, what you check your zero, guys, I'm being specific here. You don't check your zero on x. You check your zero on what? On, on f of x. You go and look for zero on f of x. Are we still together? So this is the first zero that we met. Okay, we go down, we go down, we go down, we go down. Wow, there's another zero. So we write this one. When y is zero, what is x? You say, okay, x is going to be equal to one. So now we have two things, man. Now we go and check on our calculator. Oh, we think, do we still get another one? Do we still get another one? It seems as if we, we got two again. And then here's the trick, guys, here. If you get two, they are enough. If you get two, they are, they are more than enough. Uh, if you just get two, they will be more than enough. You will get the third one. I'll show you which is how we get the third one. Now, how are we going to get the third one? Now, these are the values of x are not our factors. So now we want to get the factors. How do you get the factors? I'm a factors worker as well. You open a bracket. And then you're going to open three brackets. Eh? Because you need to have three things. It's a cubic function. Now, when you put this thing here in a factor, this is the value of x, this is the value of x. Then you're going to have x. Now, if it's negative here, when it gets here, it's going to be plus three. I will still put it. And then when we get to this one here, we're going to say, okay, this one here is going to be x to positive here again. Then when you write it here, it's going to be what? So you're going to get what? Minus one. Now we are left with the third one. Okay? Now, how do we get the third one? This is how we're going to get the third one. Um, Ritavi, who has changed a hairstyle. Ritavi, you are going to say, okay, this here should be equal to zero here. Okay? And then when you get the third one, now look at it this way. We're going to do it by inspection. We can inspect. So I'm going to say this. If I multiply this, and this, if I multiply this one and this one, they're going to give me what? X squared, okay? 
Now, what should I write here such that they are going to give me two x cubed here? What is the value that I should write here such that they give me two x cubed? I should write two x again. Yeah, if I write two x here, so this is the first value that I'm going to write, with two x. We still find it. Now, the only two values that I'm going to be interested in is the a value and the last value, which is the d value. So I'm interested in this one and this one only. Those are the two values that I'm going to be interested in. Now, the next question that I'm going to ask, okay, let me do this. I'm going to use this one multiplied by this one gives us x squared. Right? That's what should I write here such that I can get x cubed? What I said, it's simple, you can just write two x. If you say this one multiplied by this one, it gives us two x cubed. We are done with that one, okay? Now, the next part that I'm going to concentrate on is this one here. What is the value? Let's start with this one and this one. If I cut. If I multiply this one and this one, what do they give me? They give me minus three. What is the value that I should write here such that if I multiply this and this, they're going to give me minus three? What am I going to write? I'm going to write plus one. So it means which is the last value that I'm going to have here is going to be plus one. Then you got your three factors, okay? Now that you got your three factors, then you can come and get the last value. How to get the last value? Obvious, you are going to say 2x plus 1 is going to be 0. Okay? And then it says, which is 2x plus 1. You take this one to this other side. Okay? So you minus 1, you minus 1. It says 2x is going to be minus 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2, it says which x is going to be minus 1 over 2. 